Hello, I'm Zardis, and you may recognize me from my many Let's Plays on my channel, both modded and unmodded. Today, I'm excited to be collaborating with Paradox Interactive to bring you a tutorial about the urban planning concept of road hierarchy. The city we'll be taking a look at is Havenbury, which was built without using any mods. The concept of road hierarchy can be very useful when designing your cities in a way that will effectively manage traffic without using mods. Generally, the idea is to have a road network organized in a way such that as the traffic increases, the amount of intersections decreases. To accomplish this, there are four different types of road designs to utilize. The highway, the arterial road, the collector road, and the local road. Let's take a quick look at each of those. The highway is the fastest road type and stands at the top of the road hierarchy. This type of road should have uninterrupted travel with little to no intersections in order to ensure high speeds. Some highways go one step further and can be divided into express and local lanes. Here, the local lanes on the outside have the on and off ramps while the express lanes on the inside travel directly through the city with minimal disruptions. Arterial roads are one step down on the hierarchy from highways. These are large roads that can handle a high amount of traffic and should be designed in a way that they have few intersections that lead to traffic lights. Arterials are often the roads that connect directly to a highway and it is best not to put much zoning on them in order to keep the traffic flowing. Collector roads are the next step and serve as the intermediate step between local roads and arterials. These roads are larger avenues that will frequently have some zoning directly on them. In particular, I like to put commercial zoning on my collector roads. Traffic using a collector road usually will be traveling from one part of the city to another nearby. One technique to make collector roads flow more smoothly is to toggle off the traffic lights anytime a local road joins a collector. You can do this by going to the info panel, clicking on the traffic routes overlay, and going to the junctions tab. With this overlay, you can then click on a specific intersection's traffic light to toggle it off, and click on the stop signs to toggle which roads need to give way to others. My general rule is that traffic lights should only be located when a collector meets another collector or an arterial. Local roads are the lowest roads on the hierarchy list and typically have a low speed limit while carrying low volumes of traffic. Think of these roads as the small street on which you may live or work. They serve as the direct link between a resident or a business and the larger community. They can have several intersections, typically served by stop or yield signs. Now you should have a basic understanding of the concept of road hierarchy and how you can implement the planning technique into your city. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, please hit the like button and be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tutorial videos.